The Bermuda School Sports Federation is proud to present the 36th Annual Denton Hurdle Memorial Awards. The Denton Hurdle Memorial Awards is the highlight of the BSSF calendar. This year, we are honored to highlight and recognize Bermuda's finest primary, middle, and senior school student athletes. Each of the nominees are exceptionally high achieving leaders for their respective schools. They have all made their schools, teachers, coaches, and schoolmates very proud of their achievements. The awards were introduced in 1986 to honor the late Denton Hurdle. Hurdle was a keen sportsman who attended Work Academy, Bermuda College, and Dalhousie University. After completing his physical education degree, he went on to teach at Work Academy. He was an avid sportsman and excelled in soccer, cricket, and volleyball. His first love, however, was rugby. He went on to captain teachers rugby football. He was also a regular member of the Bermuda national team. Welcome to the 2021 Denton Hurdle Sports Award. I am Derek Hurdle, Denton's eldest brother. It's 20, 36 years now since Denton passed, and I still find it hard remembering Teachers Rugby Club leaving on a rugby tour for Wales and France, and Denton being at the airport to see us off. He then went off to Halifax, Nova Scotia, for his heart operation. Little did we know then that that was the last time that we would see him alive. Even to this day, I still hear his voice or that crazy laugh of his. The Denton stood just under six foot and weighed just over 200 pounds. So he wasn't a small guy, but for a guy that size, he moved very quickly, and for his all for his quickness, he was also a very gentle guy. It wasn't uncommon for him to go back and help somebody up that he just run over. His other motto was, though he liked to win, he would always say, "Win, lose, or draw, the sun will come up the next day." He was also a member of Bright Temple Church, where he would go to church on a Sunday morning and do whatever was required of him, sing in the choir, read the lesson. But on Sunday afternoons, he would be at National Sports Club, scoring the winning try, kicking the winning conversion, or missing an easy conversion to give Teachers Rugby Club a win. The sports awards were the brainchild of his co-workers and it's been kept alive through the Bermuda School Sports Federation. Thank you, uh, Mr. Manny Ferreira and the School Sports Federation for doing so. I'd like to also thank the teachers. They do a wonderful job with the students and at times they're never thanked enough. So thank you. To all the nominees, Thank you for a job well done. Your hard work and perseverance has paid off. And for the, event, the eventual winners, thank you. Job well done. And I'd like to wish you all every success in your future endeavors and look forward to 2022, where we can see you again in person. Good day. The Ministry of Education and the Department of Education welcome the Denton Hurdle Award winners, primary school, middle school, senior school, scholar athletes. We trust that this year's awardees will be celebrated, acknowledging their scholar athletic abilities.
Hello, my name is Chloe Botello and I attend Mount St. Andrews Academy. I've been representing my school in many sports over the years, like volleyball, basketball, netball, and many others. I've been representing Bermuda in Kung Fu and Wushu martial arts that I've been enjoying very much. Thank you for listening. My name is Cameron Lines and I attend Soldiers. I represent my school in football, netball, cross country, and track and circus team captain. I represent a Bermuda in the under 50 long calf football tournament and in the FBI horse shopping challenge. I play for PHC under 13 boys, under 17 BPO girls, under 17 National Academy, over 14 boys football for CP Athletic, under 14 North Village netball and women's summer football league. I won MVP awards, championship trophies, and medals for horse jumping and equitation, football, netball, and running. I'm an A student. Usually I'm the only girl on the team, but I believe passionately in sports gender equality. It's an honor to be nominated. My name is Kimara Jha and I am an MBA student at Delwood Middle School. At Delwood, I hold the position of Deputy Health Athletics Prefect and House Captain. The sports I participate in are track and field, cross country, netball, basketball, cricket, and football. I am a member of Zena Track Club and North Phillips. I have represented Bermuda overseas at the Nakiak Games in El Salvador, the Atlanta Relays, and the Barbados National Championships. I have volunteered at the Salvation Army and the Candy Strikers. Thank you. Hi, my name is Imogen Judd. I'm 14 years old and I attend Summerfield Academy. My two main sports are swimming and volleyball. I have represented Bermuda multiple times overseas in swimming and I'm on the Bermuda Junior National Volleyball Team. I was also awarded a scholarship from the BVA as well. The main things I like to do outside of school and swimming are art, baking, and playing with my puppy. My name is Brianna Medeiros and I attend Work Academy. In school, I participate in a variety of different sports such as football, basketball, cricket, rugby, netball, and I also run 100, 200, and 400 meters. I also do long jump and I sometimes run cross country. Outside of school, I mostly worry about football since it's my main sport. I play for North Village Basketball Football Leadership Academy, or BFLA, and I play for the Under-17 Women's National Team. My main position is striker, but I also play right wing for North Village. My name is Christia Lugo Elibox, and I attend Whitney Institute Middle School. I will be attending the Barclay Institute next year. I represented my school in football, cricket, basketball, and field events. I am the Public Relations Officer for Student Council. I have represented Bermuda in the Under-14 CONCACAF Tournament in football. I was 12 years old. In the community, I play football and cricket with St. Davis County Cricket Club, and I also play football with Danny Stars in the Girls League. My name is Fenella Whiteman. I represented BHS in swimming, track and field, and cross country. I'm form leader. I represented Bermuda in Crifta Games Triathlon twice, and I'm proud to be nominated for the Denton Hurdle Award. Hello everyone, my name is Tiara DeRosa and I'm a past recipient of the Dunton Harder Award. I would like to say congratulations to all the nominees for this special award. And I also wish you guys to continue putting your best foot forward, being strong, becoming great, and blossoming into the great athletes that I know you guys can be. Enjoy. Uh, hello, my name is Rajan Hart. My favorite sport is football and cricket. What I do in my free time, I go out with my friends and practice my football skills. And thank you for nominating me for the Denton Award.
name is Kara Sharif and I attend Whitney Institute Middle School. I have represented my school in track and field, football, cricket, and art showcases. I also serve as a student council treasurer and have achieved academic honors. I was champion boy for my school sports as well as inter-school sports. I am a member of FC Basketball Bermuda, CP Athletic Development Academy, DNA Track Club, the 19th Bermuda Scouts, and Bright Temple AME Church. Hello, my name is Ethan Thompson, and I attend Mount St. Agnes Academy. I have enjoyed representing my school in many sports during middle school. My most successful sport has been sailing. This year, I qualified first in our trials and will be representing Bermuda at the World, World Championships this July in Italy. I am honored to be nominated. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Luke Fulton, and I attend Work Academy. The sports I do at Work Academy include swimming, softball, athletics, volleyball, rugby, football, and cricket. I also represent the Bermuda national team in cricket and football. These are my two favorite sports as I have played them for the longest and I have enjoyed them the most. Thank you for your time. Good day, my name is James Morrison and I attend Saltus Grammar School. I have represented my school in many sports including football, rugby, field hockey, basketball, softball and cricket and many more. I have represented Bermuda in rugby when I went away to England with the Beyond Rugby national team. I was also part of a select group of Bermudians to travel to Germany and Netherlands for a football tournament. Some achievements I am proud of are being co-captain and winning Kappa in U11 and winning the under 13 football league title last year. Good afternoon, everyone, or good evening. Um, my name is Shania Parent Chief, Bermuda High and Triple Jumper. Um, I want to give everybody a huge congrats for the nominees and winners of the Denton E. Hardaway Award. Um, a few words of encouragement is, you know, keep it up, keep working hard, never give up, no matter what nobody tells you. If you feel it in your heart, you want to continue to be great at what you're doing, be great at it, you know, just keep working hard. Good day, my name is Noah Otmuskeen. I am a senior at Saltus Grammar School. I am house captain for Wallington House. I have proudly represented Saltus in nearly every sport they offer with dedication and determination and have even been captain of the varsity volleyball team. I have played competitive football for several years and eventually transitioned to volleyball where I have represented Bermuda in overseas tournaments. I was honored to win the 2020 Football Coaches Award, Volleyball MVP Award, Female Scholar Athlete of the Year Award, as well as the Female Athlete of the Year Award. Having a diverse athletic background has fostered my success as a Bermuda Beach lifeguard. Next year, I will be attending the University of Guelph in Ontario, Canada to study mechanical engineering, and I look forward to participating in their athletics programs. I would like to thank BSSF for the opportunity to discover my passion in athletics, as well as Saltus for the nomination. I am truly honored to be considered for this award and wish the best of luck to all the other candidates. My name is Ezra Bastian and I attend Cedar Bridge Academy. I represented my school in basketball, volleyball, track and field, javelin, 200 meters, and long jump and discus. I am an honor roll student. I am the captain of the basketball, napo, and volleyball team. I represented Bermuda in the under 17 national napo team and the under 17 and under 20 Bermuda soccer team. I am a black belt and got two gold medals in the Michigan Cup in Taekwondo. I received gold medals in shot put and javelin. 
I was the East and West MVP for basketball. I was the outstanding best female athlete at Cedar Bridge Academy. team on partial athletic scholarship. Thank you. Hi, my name is Kaylin Caldwell and I go to Mount Sinai Miss Academy. Next year, I will be attending the University of Kent to study law. I've represented my school in football and volleyball and outside of school have participated in high school races. I'm also the Student Council Vice President and NHS President and have represented my country in football and volleyball. My name is Selah Tuzo. I attend the Barclay Institute and I am also a dual enrollment student achieving the highest S4 GPA in February. I will be attending York University in the fall and I am a prefect and gold house vice captain. I have excelled when participating in numerous sports, but I've been an all-star for netball, basketball, football, and cricket. Remember, good players inspire themselves, great players inspire others. Good day everybody, my name is Amber Simons. I recently graduated from Wark Academy and plan to attend the University of Waterloo in Canada and study recreation and sports business. I've been part of Wark Academy's netball, swimming, football, volleyball, cross country, basketball, track and field, softball, badminton, and field hockey team. I'm sports leader, part of Wark Academy's sports student leader team. I've represented Bermuda in track and field, career to triathlon, and volleyball. And I am part of um, the women's national and junior national volleyball team indoor and beach in Hope's Bay Volleyball and University. Congratulations to the Denton Hurdle Memorial nominees. This is a really great achievement and it really shows your dedication to your sport, your athleticism and also to your community. I want you guys to remember even after this day to continue playing the sports that you love and loving the sports that you love and just be grateful that you're able to be active and move your body and be able to give in this life because that's what's really important. Congratulations. My name is Seth Hartman, and I attend the Barclay Institute. I have represented my school in basketball, track and field, and cross country. I have also represented Bermuda abroad in just track and basketball as a part of the Bermuda Under-19 men's national team. At Barclay, I am a prefect, student council S4 rep, deputy head boy, and most importantly, gold house captain. I am proud to call myself a two-time champion boy and a BSSF all-star for basketball for all my years at Barclay. Next year, I plan to attend Morgan State University for Civil Engineering. And I can't wait to see what my future holds. Hello, my name is Kale Bingham and I attend Work Academy. As I have just graduated, I plan on continuing my athletic as well as my academic studies abroad in the United States where my university is yet to be decided. I have represented Work Academy in a variety of sports such as rugby, track and field, swimming, cross country and volleyball. I have also represented Bermuda in volleyball, swimming, and triathlon, and some of the achievements I'm proud of receiving is the Warwick Academy IB Sports Award for 2021, as well as the Principal's List Sports for four consecutive years. I have also been chosen for the National Junior Sports Award twice for both triathlon and swimming. My name is Caleb McDowell. I attend Soltis Grammar School. I graduate in June of 2021 and will be attending the Bermuda College in September. I've represented Soltis at the inter-school level in football, badminton, track and field, cross country, and softball. I participate in other sports in school, but I'm also a member of the Soltis Elite Athlete Program. Inside of school, I was the athletics prefect, Soltis house captain, and the captain of the football team. Outside of school, I play in the Salvation Army Band, coach, referee, play club football, and I'm a member of the Bermuda National Academy.
Hey guys, it's Justin Donovan here. Uh, first of all, I'd like to congratulate all you Denton Hurdle nominees. I know this last year and a half has been difficult, I mean, in regards to the worldwide pandemic. Um, but despite all of that, you guys will continue to do well inside and outside of the classroom. Um, and I want to encourage you guys to continue to do well and put your best foot forward in everything that you do. Good luck. To date, one of Imogen's greatest success was winning the Primary School Girls Denton Hurdle Award. Soon after receiving this prestigious award, she demonstrated an outstanding performance at Carifta and CCCAN in 2019. She was the youngest on the team and brought home multiple individual event medals from both overseas events. She continues to dominate in Bermuda as she earned high points winner in her age group for local championships and still holds national records. Most recently, Imogen was the high point winner for her age group at the Schroeder's Long Horse Swimming Championships on June 6, 2021. Imogen was awarded the Bermuda Volleyball Association's Bursary Scholarship for her high potential and dedication to the sport. She is excited to continue her training next season. Cameron exemplifies all that this award represents and so much more. Cameron is an outstanding athlete as well as a student who always gives 100% of effort is all that she does. Her grades are always on a high. She enjoys and excels at all sports but stands out in football and equestrian. She has represented Bermuda overseas with the national under 14 team and locally for Bermuda Equestrian Federation. Cameron has tremendous talent in all that she does and her humbling and grateful attitude will take her a long way. Her peers, teachers and coaches have the utmost respect for her. She takes great pride in her athletics and academics making her the perfect recipient of this award. Cameron exemplifies the qualities and characteristics of what the Denton Hurdle Award stands for and Soltis Grammar School is proud to recommend Cameron for this prestigious award. Luke impresses as a young man with tremendous talent, balance, focus and respect. When considering a nominee for this prestigious award, Luke's many strengths and attributes stood out immediately. He is physically and mentally strong. He maintains quality grades, is naturally fast, tremendously skilled and a role model. Luke has represented Work Academy in numerous sports. He impressively represents two national teams in the sports of cricket and football and could easily include rugby, swimming and volleyball. In cricket, he plays for Work Workman's senior team, which is quite an achievement for a 14-year-old. This young man has an extremely bright future and Work Academy is proud to nominate him. Kari is a positive role model here at Whitney. He consistently is prepared for classes and competition. Kari inspires others with his talent and abilities. Many of our younger students and athletes look up to Kari for advice and support. Often you can catch Kari sharing skill tips and strategies in games, PE, and lunchtime play. Kari demonstrates positive values and characteristics along with his achievements in track, cross country, football, and cricket. 
He is an excellent role model. Corey works well with others and always wants the best for his team. At times of need, Corey is always willing to share a strategy to strengthen a skill or much needed play. On the field, Corey works hard to inspire and encourage others. Often, Corey is seen celebrating his peers for their performance. Corey's coaches recognize his leadership skills. This was demonstrated as he was selected as the team captain for his futsal team for the 2018 to 2020 Futsal World Championships. He was also selected as co-captain for his football team in the 2019 Kappa Classic and his team were the under 11 division champions. At school, he was also selected to serve as a tour guide and buddy for P6 students during open house for two years. It is with great pride and admiration that Cedarbridge Academy nominates Ezreal Baisden. She is a determined, committed, and confident student athlete. She has left her mark at the Cedarbridge Academy amongst her peers in the classroom and in the sports arena. She is admired by both her classmates and faculty while maintaining high athletic achievements while also maintaining high honor roll status during her tenure at Cedarbridge Academy. She has represented Bermuda in Taekwondo, Netball, and and football at the under 17 and under 20 levels. The passion, determination, hard work and dedication that she displays in training and competition inspires her teammates to push harder. She has been a terrific role model and Cedarbridge Academy is honored to have nominated her. Ember's impressive achievements, both inside and outside of school, are a testament to a young lady who dedicates her time and energy to her passion for sport. She is an all-round athlete and successfully competes on many levels of sports spectrums. She has played all-star netball, football, and volleyball. Amber has represented Bermuda in Carifta Triathlon, volleyball tournaments, track and field, and swimming. Recognizing how important academics are, her hard work in the classroom has led her to achieving first honors. Amber will be attending the University of Waterloo in the fall to study recreation and sports business. It has been a true pleasure to teach, coach, and work with Amber. She has been an asset to Work Academy, and we are very proud to nominate her for this prestigious award. Caleb McDowell for the Denton Hurdle Award. Caleb is a student of solid academic ability who I have no doubt will pursue a thoroughly successful career at the university level. He adopts a positive approach to all aspects of study and is a fine example of the younger generation and we have no hesitation whatsoever in presenting such a deserving young man. Caleb has been accepted in several universities in the U.S. Throughout his time at Saltus, Caleb has shown himself to be an upstanding school citizen, totally dedicated and committed to his academics and athletic endeavors. He is a mature and responsible young man. Caleb has a terrific attitude and a tremendous work ethic and gets along with everyone. He has earned the respect of the staff and peers alike and is an ideal role model for our younger students. Caleb personifies the very essence of a Denton Hurdle Awards Scholar Athlete. Thank you. 
in triathlon since the age of seven. He received training from Great Britain's former Olympic coach Steve True, who eventually hired Caleb as an assistant for local training camps. Caleb has expanded his interest in swimming and volleyball, both of which he has excelled, competing both nationally and at international competitions. Caleb is extremely passionate about his sport, but also recognizes the importance of academics. He successfully achieved nine IGCSEs in year 11. More recently, he successfully competed the IB program, receiving a distinction in BTEC Sports Warwick Academy is confident he will succeed at any institution of higher education and will make an excellent contribution to the wider community. It is Work Academy's pleasure to nominate Caleb Ingham for this prestigious award. Hi everyone, I'm Flora Duffy and I just wanted to congratulate everyone for being nominated for the 2021 Denton Hurdle Award. I won in 2000, sorry, I won in 1998 and 2004 and I can remember it was just such an honor to be nominated and even a greater honor to win. Um, so I want to congratulate everyone for being nominated and a special congrats for those who end up winning their categories. And if I could offer one piece of advice it would be to just be patient with yourself if you do not win this year. Don't think um, it's the end of your sporting career. Um, 23, year 23 years later, I'm still doing sport and learning every single day. <laughs> 